Today's topic is to move out. Today's topic is to move out. I'm going to leave a God's message with this topic. Before Jesus was taken up into heaven, he made the last commandment. He said, move out. Mark chapter 16, verse 15. He said to them, go into the world and preach the good news to all creation. The characteristic of house people is that they show their movement. When they are sick or feel tired, they rarely move their body. When people feel heavy life, most of them want to take a rest. However, when they're on the bed, they might feel more pains or worries. When we move, it can be restored in our body and the function of our body can be relieved. One of the books which was published last year, the name of it is called Dining on Bed and Living a Walk. It is series 1, 2, and 3. The books written by Young Gil Kim. From his story, he talked about his personal experience. When he was young, he got an illness. Then, he just decided to climb on the mountain for 40 days. After that, he climbed on the mountain. It made him alive. After 40 days, he became healthy. He just asked others to climb on the mountains. People who got an illness tended to take any medicine or other prescriptions to cure. But when people are sick, they rather move their body compulsively. If they do not, they might feel nervousness or depression. To climb on a walk, makes people take a deep breath and have a good posture. We move to make a good posture. People trying to make their back straight, but after a few minutes, they trying to lean on the side. Some people walk on the mountains or the street. They trying to hold their backpack. Most of them who have the backpack walk on the street. Later, they change their posture. What do you have to do? When you feel better, we have to go outside. We need to move out. We move on to the world. Jesus said, be my witness until the end. With the Holy Spirit, we can deliver God's message until the end of the world. The Holy Spirit helps us to deliver His message. People have worries about getting married or having a job. They are trying to parasite in their life. I talk about one example. Boxing, one of the sports, has some skills to win. When a player receives a punch, the other player tries to be slow. When the player moves slowly, the other player makes a big punch on him to win. This is time to judge the who is the winner. The evil pushes us not to move. He trying to push us at the corner. This means that we do not want to move. They are trying to stay in a place. And they said, stay in a place and do nothing. They think when they not move, nothing can be changed. But they are wrong. When they stay, they are getting worse. Matthew chapter 28, verse 19. Therefore, go and make disciplines of all nations. This verse mentions that go to the nations. This verse is about Jesus' last commandment. It's emphasized that we have to move. 
when you stay, it makes you worse. So we have to go and we have to leave God's message in all nations. The water swelling in the one place can be dirty. Another example is in a hospital. There are many patients. Some of them would like to stay longer than they can go. They want to stay in the hospital. What the hospitals do is that they push them out of the hospital. There are many students in Korea. Students must finish their degree in four years. However, some of them stay longer than they finish with some reasons. They want to stay in the school before their job. In church, there are some such members who tend to attend the service only, not involved in any groups or mission. What you have to do, we need to move out. God wants to see us to move out. We have to go all the place and we have to deliver God's message. Some church members attend the service only. But is it okay for them to attend the service? However, our God wants them to involve in other group. This is gospel. Gospel makes people have faith. When you listen to God's message, we can obey Him. Abraham was in our of the Cardis. God pushed him to move to Canaanites. He became one of the ancestors in faith. Israelites also tend to be out of Egypt. They did not want to get out of the place. However, God pushed them to the promised land. They were in wilderness. As they experienced some trials, they would change. They came as slaves to the new place. However, in the new place, as they came into the place, they got new life. We have to move forward in any field. Jacob took to Bethel in the place he repented his sins and he returned as a faithful man. God gives us a small stimulant on our life. In Acts chapter 3, there were Peter and John. And when they went into the temple, they saw a crippled man to ask money. When John and Peter came into the temple, they shouted a crippled man in the name of Jesus, raise. So, what they said, they focus on the crippled man. We have to remember we do not ignore the disciplined ones. We need to focus on a small thing. In Acts chapter 3, verse 4, it is about a small stimulant, but it makes a great research. We are going to Gosong, which is located in the south area of Korea. We are going to this place for a mission next week. We think we are so small to deliver God's message in the place. However, we expect that it can make a great research. Matthew chapter 25, verse 40, the king will replied, I will tell you the truth. Whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers of mine, you did for me. In last Friday prayers meeting, in the sermon, I talked about Chiu Yun. He studied in America with some sponsorship, and 
He graduated from one of the top universities. JP So wanted to get married with an American girl. However, Chiyu was different. He made a plan to return his hometown. Before he came back, he visited a church and he hoarded $200 in his pocket. He went to some church members and he donated all the money he had, which was the whole amount to go back to his hometown. When he gave the money, he said, please send more missionaries to Korea. That's what I want. From his words, he got important message. When he came back to Korea, he might want to buy some gift to give his family or relatives. However, he donated his money to send more missionaries to Korea. He had a different purpose. He got a small dream that he wanted missionaries only. However, later, he made big research in Korea. In 2013, one of the books I remembered is called Children on Street. The writer is on Chinese American. From his background, he was poor, but he got support from others. He went to America and he studied in University of Harvard. He studied in medical school. Later, he became a doctor. He decided to go to a mission. He went to Bolivia for a mission with some doctors. In the place, during the mission, he met some children who are worked as prostitutes and some children who enjoy alcohol or children who show balances. They did not take any proper education or proper life. After that, he decided to take care of the children. People think that when he was in the mission, he just cured some children in the mission. However, during the mission, he changed. He got something in his mind. He worked for them to cure in eight months. After the mission, when he returned, he decided to make the community. The community is named Child International Community to help poor children. His name is Chi Chen Huang. He made great research in the mission. We need to know the wide nature we can be when we in the service or in the wilderness. How can you make the wild nature? There are two things. The first one is when we are in service, and the second one is when you are in the wilderness. Now we're going to see the first point. The first one is that when you're in the service, now we can see Jesus' disciplines. When did they restore their wild nature? Acts chapter 16, verse 14. One of those listening was a woman named Lindia, a dealer in a purple clothes from the city of Tiantiar, who was worshiper of God. 
the Lord opened her heart to response to Paul's message. When you are staying in one place, we might feel nervous or worries. When you see Jesus' face, we can receive the power or strength. Paul received a lot of hardships. When Paul met Jesus, he changed his life. From Acts 14, it is the message about the revival. When we believe God, we can be confident. We like to give our worship to God. Acts chapter 9, verse 4, he fell to the ground and heard a boy say to him, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? Saul listened to the God's voice and then he buoyed his message. We need to restore the wider nature. We have to come to the world and we have to be against the evil. With the service, we can receive the power. We have to receive that, otherwise we can lose. From the early church, it shows that the Gaelic of Mark, the disciplines stayed in the Gaelic of Mark. They stayed and they listened to the Holy Spirit and they spread. Now, I'll give you one example. Last year, I remember some books. I read a story of the crusade written by Siono Nanami. Some people say that the book is incredible. Some people say the story is really great. I think so. However, I focus on the message of the book. The message is about God expected or God wanted. From the story, a poet had desire to go to Jerusalem. When his people did not obey him, he made his words in a purpose. He used God's name to persuade his people. The people did not listen to him. However, in the mentioning of God's words, the passage, God wanted it, and we have to do it. God gave me the message. The post said the words that his people listened his words. What we have to do, we have to go to the nations and we have to deliver his message. When you deliver God's message in faith, we can make great research. This is God wants. This is God expected us to make a great research. He wants us to do it. Some people think about is it possible or not. However, before we ask this is harsh or not, we decide to move when it is right. We have to follow his words. With the gospel, it makes God happy. And God helps us make more things. We do not have to expect our future. We cannot predict for our future. However, what do we have to do? We have to decide. When you think about something, we cannot stay one place. With the promise of God, we have to move forward. We have to see what God makes us. Most people watch dramas on TV. When you watch TV, we're trying to think about the ending story of the drama. When people watch the drama, they expect the happy ending story, but we do not know the exactly ending story. Only God knows 
the end. John chapter 16, verse 33. I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. We need to restore our wild nature and know the end. Some people want to know the end only. However, we did not know the end result. That's why we feel nervous. We feel nervous because the God's work is dramatic. From John chapter 16, verse 30 straight, he mentions that I told you these things so that in me you may have peace. I want you to be a faithful servant in God. We need to resort our world nature so we can make the great research. The second point is that we need the experience in wilderness. What we have to do is it okay for us to stay in the wilderness? Some people trying to avoid their worries. However, we are God's children. Some people expect that I want to have Japanese food in the morning and I have Korean food in the lunch. They're trying to make great plants in their life. However, with their imagination, they couldn't make a perfect life. When you are in wilderness, we can go through the trials and we can improve our faith. For Moses, he was in the wilderness for 40 years. Actually, he was a prince. He had a great life. However, when he moved to the wilderness, he experienced a lot of hardships. After the wilderness, he lived in the house of his wife's family for 40 years. He lived in his wife's family. I think he had a lot of troubles when he was in house. When you see David and King Saul, I think King Saul had a good personality. He was nice to his people. However, David was in the wilderness. He experienced with God in the trials. So he became a great person. When God asked me to choose in the wilderness or the perfect land, I think I'll choose the wilderness. John chapter 1, verse 23, John replied in the words of Isaiah the prophet, I am the voice of one calling in the desert. Make a straight away for the Lord. So John said, I am the voice of calling in the desert. He chose the desert. People trying to avoid to be in wilderness. They did not want to experience the trials. However, they want to see God. Actually, God is our everything. He gives us what we want. Psalms 101, verse 1 to 2. I lift up my eyes to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Some people trying to ask God what they want. They make the limitation to ask God. However, from Psalms 102, it says, Where does my help come from? We do not have to any boundaries to ask God. When you pray, people say what they want through their eyes. 
But when you respond from God, God gives us more expect what we want. We are in the wilderness. When we are in here, God gives us more helps and He leads us in the better ways. God works in our life and He gives us more helps. So, we can expect Him to do better work. Through the wideness, we can increase the wide nature. Before being a big person, God leads us in the wideness. And when you are with God, we do not want to ask God or saint. We just want to stay with God. When you are in the wildness, we can see God only. When in the wildness, we can feel lonely. We are trying to feel loneliness, but we want to avoid it. We know the word bullying. Bullying means being alert. People who are bullied, they are trying to avoid seeing others. From the Bible, Elijah was against 850 prophets. I'll give you one story. One of my church members sent me a message. He said, I'm alone. My friends do not want to play with me, so I want to die. When I saw the message, I felt bad for him. He is trying to think about his friends. However, he can be alone and he can be in the wilderness. People who tend to stay with others like to focus on other things. For example, they like to go shopping with them. They like to do other activities with them. Without God, they did not want to see God. What David said, Psalm 3, 6 to 7, I will not fear the tens of thousands thrown up against me on every side. Arise, O Lord, deliver me, O my God, strike all my enemies on the jaw, break teeth of the witch. As we see these verses, David said, I will not fear the tens of thousands drawn up against me on every side. He is not scared of any enemies. What we have to do, we do not have to feel afraid. We just go to Kosong for a mission. We just go to all the nations to deliver God's message. I want you to be a faithful man in God and receive a great victory. Let's pray. Please, Lord, please give me the wide nature and I want to deliver your message in all nations and deliver your message in the old place and make me move out. Let's pray.